Okay, welcome back to part two of um, of this video series. And as you can see, I've brought the the Tajin unit into focus here because I want to talk about that one. This one because it's more representative of the modern controllers, uh, your modern Tajins, and particularly your Henglong 2.4. Okay, um, again, just to reiterate, just to make clear, um, on all these new controllers, it is that micro switch connection that really is the key, okay? Because I get a lot of um, support questions. Hey, this doesn't work. That doesn't work. Ninety-nine percent of the time, um, people have forgotten to take care of this micro switch connection. This is particularly when you're getting rid of these units and putting in a servo recall unit. Okay. So as you can see, I've removed the uh, micro switch input. So when I go to fire, nothing happens, right? Um, okay, so what I have done on this new version of, of Mako, Mako 2018, is I've included a micro switch replicator. Okay, so this is this connection up the top here. It's a new connection for Mako. Um, just basically to, to help everyone make things simpler for people, um, so you don't have to physically add in a micro switch and you know can make things nice and nice and neat also there's another two wires you don't have to send up into your turret if you are using say a 360 control turret okay so you just simply plug that into you make the micro switch replicator into the micro switch port and if you'll notice there's still the three switches there sorry three contacts there for your flash unit so with that put in there we should be able to fire now before I do that I'm going to talk about triggering this is now particularly the case of the Heng Long 2.4 the timings on the Henglong 2.4 have changed and so a lot of actions happen later than they did on this older board. So the best way to trigger Mako 2018 using the newer Henglongs is to actually now take your signal input from the gun motor return which is the same one we use when we set up this uh, relay to mimic the micro switch. So that's what I've done here. I've simply connected up to the gun motor return and I'm going to have an, included a new pin here on Mako specifically for make connection easy. So we will connect that up. So Mako is now for many, 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 well, since inception, Mako has always been triggered by the IR pin going to ground. We're now going to trigger Mako using the gun motor return. And when we do that with our Heng Long 2.4, everything will be in sync. Okay, so that's the connection now. The white cable is now triggering Mako and we have our micro switch replicator. Having a Mako connected means we can now battle with everything. Okay, I used to be able to even battle with WSN, but I took that protocol off because no one uses WSN anymore. So when we fire our, make our Tajin unit here, we have a stock hang long. As you can see, no Mako connected. This is just your stock hang long. When we fire our Tajin, we'll now be able to destroy or take a hit while well, hang along we'll be able to take a hit so let's prove that so here we go let's fire there and you can hear the hang long gets hit okay so oh that's only okay we'll wrap this video up so I might um yeah so we can turn these things off So, just finally, in summary, your very, very old RX-18s, when Mako was first made, they would, did not require a micro switch to fire. As time went on, Hang Long and Tajin wanted to sync 
the sound of the gun with the firing of the projectile. So they added a micro switch onto the back of their gun units. Okay, this is where it used to go here. That micro switch then connected into those two pins on the RX-18. When that happened, the gunfire sound would only occur until with that micro switch closing. In that way, the BB unit was in sync with the sound. That system got followed on into the Tajin units and further on now on into the Henglong 2.4 gig units. The Henglong 2.4 gig units have changed their timings. The IR signal, the track recoil, occur now at different times. If you want to use a Mako to block your track recoil, you need to take your Mako trigger from a different source. Easiest way to take the source is actually from the gun motor return. Okay, so we've taken the white pin out of the Mako cable and we've put it in here. Everything will still work. If you're not worried about your track recoil, if you don't want anything else in sync, it's fine. The existing Mako cable into here will work. The only reason I'm bringing up the Mako is to, tell, is to illustrate how Hang Long and Tajin change a lot of their functions on their controllers. There's no information given about that. There's no way you can tell unless you know, you're somewhat involved in the process. The micro switch is critical on all the modern MFUs. You must have something in there to trigger, trigger your sounds. Other than that, um, there we go. Let's hope. Um, I hope that's been a bit of a benefit to some people. And um, yeah, if not, sorry. Catches by.